This is how you can find a $100,000 per month Amazon FBA product like this one I found using a technique I'll show you later in this video. And what's crazy about this product is it's being sold on Amazon for almost $17. But this exact same product is being sold on Alibaba.com for around $2.78. So you can buy it from Alibaba.com, send it into the Amazon warehouse and sell it on Amazon for $17 and keep the profit. And we can actually see how much any product on Amazon is making by going to the Amazon product page here, scrolling down to the best selling ranked number, which is this number down here, copying this and going to the free Jungle Scout sales estimator tool. We put that in here, we put the marketplace as the United States and select the category, which in this case is going to be sports and outdoors. And we can see that this product is selling over 7,000 units every single month. And if we do the math and multiply it by the almost $17 that this product costs, that's over $100,000 in sales every single month for this one product. And this product only has 218 reviews and it was released just a few months ago and already it's hitting over $100,000 in sales every single month. And I'm gonna show you how I found this product as well as seven other Amazon FBA products. And you can take these products that I'm gonna show you later in this video and use them to start your own Amazon business. And throughout this video, I'm gonna show you seven different Amazon FBA product techniques. And these are all different ways that you can use to find a product to sell on Amazon. And let's get into the first technique that I call the keyword method. And this method only takes five minutes. In fact, I'm gonna put five minutes on the timer and show you how quickly you can find a great product to sell on Amazon. And before I start the timer, you need to know that the key to having success on Amazon is to realize that amazon.com is just a search engine. And people go to Amazon, they type in what they wanna buy in the search bar and they hit enter. And what they type into the search bar is called their search phrase or their keywords that they're looking for. And if you can find out what people are searching for in Amazon, you can find out what they're looking to buy on Amazon. And if you know what people are trying to buy on Amazon, you can sell them that exact product and make a ton of money. And Amazon is a $1 trillion company and they have 300 million prime customers going to their website every single day, searching for products to buy. And Amazon allows people like you and me to sell our products on their website. Last year alone, there was over $500 billion in sales on Amazon's website. And two thirds of all the sales that happen on Amazon are from third party sellers. That's people like you and me selling our products on Amazon. And 43% of all Amazon sellers have made at least $100,000 selling their products on Amazon. So this is a huge opportunity but you need to know what type of product you should be selling on Amazon's website. And you can find out exactly what product you should be selling on Amazon using this technique I will show you right now. Let's start the timer. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis and I've created multiple six and seven figure Amazon FBA businesses and smash the like button right now because I'm gonna show you exactly the seven different ways that I use to find profitable products to sell on Amazon. And if you're having a hard time finding products to sell on Amazon, I just launched a product research challenge. It's only $1. There's more information about that down below. It's five hours worth of content. I'm gonna show you how in five days you can find and start your own Amazon FBA product. So click the link down below to join, but let me show you how to find a product. And to use this method to find your first profitable Amazon FBA product, you're gonna need to use a tool called Helium 10. There is a link down below with a discount code, but here's a little secret. If you actually click on get started today and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can actually sign up for free. Now the free plan does have limited features, but if you're on a budget, this is an option. Another thing to keep in mind is there is a seven day money back guarantee. So you can always sign up for this tool and then cancel after you find a product to sell. And I do have the hookup with Helium 10. If you use the link in the description below, you'll get a huge discount. But once you've signed up, you're going to log in. And from here, you're gonna go up to tools. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of going and using Blackbox, Trendster, or one of these tools because it's under the product research section. 
And I will explain how to use these tools later in this video, but here's the real secret if you wanna have success on Amazon. Use this tool down here called the Magnet Tool. This is a keyword research tool. This is gonna tell you exactly what people are searching for in Amazon, but you need to start with an idea. You need to type something in here, and I recommend typing in something that you're interested in. And recently I've been reading about the carnivore diet, and this seems like a diet that's probably gonna start taking off in the next few months. So let's type this in and let's see what comes up. And you can see down here that over 2000 people per month are searching in Amazon for carnivore. And there are a bunch of filters that we're gonna talk about in just a second here that are gonna help you to find a product. Specifically, title density is the hidden gem. If you're looking to find a successful product on Amazon, this is something we'll talk about in just a minute. But what I recommend doing is coming down here and sorting this list by Magnet IQ score. And the Magnet IQ score tells you how good of an opportunity Helium 10 thinks that this product is going to be. You're then gonna go down this list and look at every single keyword phrase until you find a winning product. Now this first one is butterwort carnivorous plant. It's a type of plant that we're probably not gonna to wanna to sell on Amazon. You then scroll down and look at every single one of these things until you find something that you're gonna actually wanna sell. And I found a product on page two that I think is a really good opportunity. We can see that over 400 people per month are searching for carnivore electrolytes. And when we go to Amazon and we search for carnivore electrolytes, there aren't really any electrolyte powders that are specifically being sold for the carnivore diet. There are a lot of generic electrolyte powders, but none of them are branded or marketed towards the carnivore diet, which means that this has the potential to be a huge product. In fact, you could start with carnivore electrolytes, then you could do carnivore ketones, and then carnivore snacks, and this could turn into a multiple million dollar business easily. But the key is starting with that first product that we know people are searching for in Amazon, but there's no product like that being sold. Let me show you another example of how to do this. And I actually had a student that did this method and found a product and in his first year did over $500,000 in sales. His name is AJ and he lost his job as a bartender during the pandemic. He ended up joining my Amazon FBA course and when he told me he was passionate about cocktails, we went into Helium 10, we went to the Magnet tool and we typed in here, cocktails. We then went one by one and looked at all these things that people were searching in Amazon that were related to cocktails until all the way down here on page two, we found that people were searching for cocktail recipe cards. We also saw that people were searching for similar things like bartender flashcards, bartender recipe cards. And what's even better is we went to Amazon, searched for this, and no products like this existed. There were cocktail recipe books, but there was no cocktail recipe flashcards. So we made this product together, and in our first year, we did over $500,000 in sales. And this is the key. If you wanna have a lot of success on Amazon, you wanna find products that do not yet exist. And the secret to making this easy to find is this trick right here to use the title density filter. This is so powerful and so easy that later in this video, I'm gonna show you how I can find four or five products using this feature in just five minutes. I'm actually gonna use this method live and unscripted at the end of this video and come up with a bunch of ideas and you can steal all those ideas. Now let me show you the second product research technique. And this technique is free. You don't have to pay for any tools. And it's how I found this $100,000 per month Amazon FBA product. But before I show you that method, we should talk about what type of products you should sell on Amazon versus what type of products you should not sell. And I actually have a complete checklist on what I look for in products that I'm gonna be selling on Amazon. And let's talk about what not to sell. There are four things you definitely do not wanna sell on Amazon. The first is products that are under $15. You should pretty much never sell a product that is under $15 because if you're selling it for under $15 on Amazon, it's hard to make money because there are a lot of different fees. You have to pay for the product cost, you have to pay for the Amazon FBA selling fee, and it costs 15% to sell any product on Amazon. You'll also have to pay for the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. And for those that don't know, Amazon FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. This is where you buy products for a discount overseas. You then send them into the Amazon warehouse and Amazon will fulfill the products for you when someone goes to Amazon and buys your product. 
And when you subtract out all these costs, plus all the other business costs you're gonna have, if your product is under $15, it's gonna be very hard to make a profit. The second type of product you do not wanna sell is a product that's over $85. That's because if a product is over $85, Usually people need to do a little bit of research. It's not really an impulse buy and it's not the best type of product to be selling on Amazon. I'll share the rest of the list of things you should definitely not sell on Amazon soon. But first, let me show you how I found this $100,000 per month Amazon FBA product using the second product research technique. All you have to do is click on this best sellers link right here. And you can see the best selling products in every single category. But what's really interesting to me is this new releases tab. These are products that were just recently released on Amazon, but are having crazy amount of sales. And you can see the product that I showed you earlier in this video. And when we click on this product, as I mentioned, this product is doing over a hundred thousand dollars in sales. Now warning, be careful. You don't want to just take a product that's already selling well and copy it exactly. This is called private labeling. And in my opinion, this way of selling on Amazon is dead. What you want to do instead is try to figure out how you can improve a product or make a better product than what exists. In fact, that's that's what this product did. Most swimming goggles look like this and they might leave you with those raccoon eyes, but this product fixed that problem. So when you're looking at the best sellers or the new releases, always think, how could I make a better product than this? And one key to do that is to look at the one star, two star, and even three star reviews for a product that is making a lot of sales. But now let me show you how I found this $70,000 per month Amazon FBA product using the black box tool by Helium 10. And best of all, it only took two minutes. So let's start the clock. And this is the product research tool that Helium 10 has. It spits out tons of product ideas for you. All you have to do is type in the criteria that you're looking for. And one of the first things you wanna think about when selling on Amazon is what category do you wanna sell in? And not all categories are created equal. There are some categories you should absolutely avoid. For instance, I always recommend avoiding electronics if you're a beginner Amazon seller because this can get very complicated very fast. However, let's go through this list and I'll tell you which products I do recommend. Also, I'd avoid most appliances because a lot of appliances are electronic. Arts, crafts, and sewing, maybe. Automotive, maybe. Baby products is an amazing category to sell in. Beauty and personal care, another great category. Camera and photo, sometimes. CDs and vinyl and books, I would avoid. Cell phone and accessories is another good category to sell in. Clothing, shoes, and jewelry is okay. Grocery and gourmet food, although this can be tough as a beginner. My first passion product was in this category and it sold really well. You can also look at the health and household, the kitchen and dining, the home and kitchen, office products, patio, lawn, and garden, pet supplies, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement, and toys and games. Then you're gonna tell this tool what the price of the product that you're gonna be selling is gonna be. As I mentioned, minimum, you want your product to be priced at $15 and maximum around $85. You can also specify how much money you're looking to make every single month. And let's say $5,000. And for fun, let's put this as a max at $80,000. Remember, your first Amazon FBA product, you don't need to be making $80,000, $100,000 every single month. You can always start with a smaller product that's maybe only making you a couple thousand dollars and then repeat that process and sell more and more Amazon products. When using this tool, you can also specify the review rating of your competition. And let's say a max of 3.5, meaning that if a product has a review of above 3.5 stars on average, Helium 10 won't show it to us. And this is because if we can find products that have really poor reviews, but a lot of sales, it might be a great opportunity for us to make a better product than our competitors. After you've entered all this in, you can click on search. Before I show you the results and how I found this $70,000 per month Amazon FBA product, I'm gonna share with you the rest of the list of things that you should avoid selling on Amazon. And the third type of product you should avoid selling on Amazon is products that have a ton of competition. There's over 4,000 new Amazon sellers joining amazon.com to sell their products every single day. On top of that, there's over 9 million total Amazon sellers. Now, to be fair, of those 9 million sellers, only around 2 million sellers are in the United States and only around 1 million active Amazon sellers in the United States. And as I mentioned earlier, over 43% of all Amazon sellers have made $100,000. So I don't want you to think that the opportunity to sell on Amazon is dead, but I do want you to be aware that most of those 1 million Amazon sellers aren't doing a very good job. They're selling generic, boring, private label products, and I don't want you to do that. 
If all you do is take an existing product, slap your own brand on it and put it on Amazon, you're going to fail. You need to somehow try to improve the product, even if that just means making really strong, powerful branding. I do wanna let you guys know about a $10,000 Amazon FBA mistake that I made, and it's the fourth type of product you should never sell on Amazon, and that is anything that doesn't ship well. When I was selling PNB on Amazon, I wanted to start selling it in jars because a lot of people were asking for it in jars, and I didn't wanna do plastic jars. I obviously wanted to do glass jars except for glass jars do not ship very well we had a ton of products that were leaking we had a ton of products that broke and we ended up having to throw away half of our production run which was over ten thousand dollars worth of inventory now the good thing is because i did sell the first half of the production run i ended up breaking even on this and, and that's a big point that i want to make is that when you're selling a product on amazon a lot of people are afraid that they're going to lose money and usually that's not gonna happen. Usually at a minimum, you're gonna break even, even if you make a giant mistake and have to throw away half your inventory. You also wanna avoid items that are really large and are gonna be expensive to ship or anything that's meltable like chocolate bars. Now there are four products you do wanna sell on Amazon and I'm gonna share all four of these products with you after I share with you this $70,000 per month product I found using Blackbox right now. After you've filled out all the information in Blackbox that I just showed you how to do, you're gonna hit search. And this tool is gonna to show you a bunch of different products that meet your exact criteria, including products that are making over $70,000 a month and don't have any reviews this is a crazy opportunity but you're gonna go through one by one and look at all these products until you find an opportunity that's something that you're actually interested in and on page two I found this product and it's doing over $70,000 a month in sales and it has a 3.2 star average which is not very good which means if this product is getting so many sales if we can create a competitor product that's actually good, we can steal all their sales. So let's click on this listing and let's go down to the one, two, and three star reviews and see why people are complaining. So the first complaint is that they put a UPC code over the instructions and that even a razor blade couldn't get it off. So that's an easy fix. We can make a better product than this. Another person said that it wasn't covering their gray hairs, which seems like the whole point of this product. Another thing that we can easily do to fix. The next product research method I'm gonna show you was used to find a million dollar Amazon product. This product did over $1 million in sales last year. And this product was using a tool by Helium 10 called Cerebro. And I'm gonna show you how to use this tool in just a minute, but one thing you should know is that Helium 10 is not the only product research software out there. Another tool that you can use is called Jungle Scout. And let's talk about the pros and cons of Helium 10 versus Jungle Scout. And there are some dirty little secrets about both Helium 10 and Jungle Scout that you should know before you buy either one of these, like the fact that you actually don't need to pay for either one of these tools. I'm gonna to share with you some more free product research methods later in this video. And one of the big things that both these products will do is it'll tell you how much in sales existing products on Amazon are doing. But you don't need to pay for this. Jungle Scout actually gives away this tool for free. It's called the Free Sales Estimator Tool. There's a link to that down below in the description. And as I showed you earlier in this video, all you have to do is go to the best selling rank number on an Amazon product listing page, copy that over, fill in the rest of the information and hit enter. And this tool will show you exactly how much in sales any product on Amazon is making. But another secret technique that you can use that's a hack is that you can go to any product on Amazon, add it to your cart and change the amount that you wanna to buy to 999. Amazon will then change the number of units in your shopping cart to whatever number that that seller has left in their inventory. You can then go back day after day and check to see how far down that number goes. For instance, if it was at 700 and then the next day it was 690, the next day it was 680, the next day it was 670, you can tell that this product is selling about 10 units per day every single day. But let's talk about the pros of Helium 10 and then I'll talk about the pros of Jungle Scout. And one of the biggest pros of Helium 10 is they do have a free plan that you can get by clicking on the link down below and scrolling to the bottom of the page. But a huge secret about Helium 10 is I actually have the hookup with Helium 10. Yes, if you click on the link down below, there is a discount code with that link, but I actually have an even better deal than that, but I'm not allowed to publicly share what it is. I have to put it behind a paywall. So this huge discounted link is available either in my Amazon FBA course, and there's a link to that down below in the description, or you can join my Amazon FBA product research challenge 
for just $1 and you can get this huge savings on Helium 10. Again, I can't talk about what it is, but trust me that this discount code is well worth the price of the challenge. And I'll share some more information about this product research challenge later in this video. Again, it's gonna be five hours worth of video recordings showing you how to do product research. It's one hour a day for five days. And by the end of those five days, I'm pretty confident if you follow my step-by-step -step process, at the end of those five days, you're gonna have some profitable product ideas to start selling on Amazon. Another pro for Helium 10 is it has better and more powerful tools for doing just about everything, including product research, than Jungle Scout has. But all that being said, there are some pros for Jungle Scout. And one of the biggest pros is it is a little bit less expensive. If you use the link down below, you can get a huge discount on Jungle Scout and it only costs $50 per month. The only downside is you do have to pay for three months upfront and that's gonna cost you around $149. Another pro for Jungle Scout is they do have a supplier database. So once you find a product to sell, on Amazon, you're gonna to need to find a supplier or a manufacturer for that product. And using this tool by Jungle Scout, it makes it very easy for you to find your own supplier. I did another video where I went in depth comparing Helium 10 and Jungle Scout that I'll link in the description down below. But in my opinion, I recommend and use Helium 10. But no matter which one of these you decide to use, there are discount links for both of these in the description down below. But let me show you this product right here that last year did over a million dollars in sales. And this product was created by Brent, who's a student in my Amazon FBA program and he created this product while he had a job as a full-time first responder helicopter pilot and he was a father to two beautiful children so he was doing this on the side but still in his first year he did over seven hundred thousand dollars in sales and in his second year last year he did over a million dollars in sales so let me show you how he found this product and how you can find your own product and there's a tool on helium 10 called the Cerebro tool. And this is another powerful tool that you can use to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon. And the way this tool works is you put in an ASIN in the search bar and it'll tell you what things people are searching for in Amazon in order to buy this product. And ASIN, for those that don't know, stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. And every product on Amazon has its own unique ASIN number. And to find that, we can go to the product page and we can go to the URL and it's this information right here. And you can copy that and take it and paste it into the search bar. If you have a hard time finding the ASIN number, just go down to the bottom here and you can see ASIN and it's this information here. So we go back here, we're gonna click on get keywords. And there are a lot of different filtering options here that you can use to filter out what results are being shown to you. But for now, we're just gonna look at what we have here and let's sort this by the Magnet IQ score to start. And we can see things like We Burner Torch has a search volume of over 7,000. Tiki Torch Canister, over 6,000. Butane Torch Gun, over 5,000. Now I'm not saying all these are gonna be good products. You're gonna to wanna to go one by one and look at what products are already being sold on Amazon. But using a technique similar to this, Brent was able to find this product that did over a million dollars in sales last year. And what's cool about this tool is it's gonna tell you exactly how many sales this product is getting from all these different search phrases. Now I wanna show you a free product research method that helped me to find this $300,000 per month Amazon FBA product. I also used it to find this $40,000 per month Amazon FBA product. And the way this works is you go to amazon.com and you start to type something and Amazon will auto-complete whatever you're gonna say. And at the top is gonna to be the most searched thing followed by the second most searched thing, third most searched thing that starts with the letter A. And all I did is I went to the search bar and I typed the letter B and then A. Saw what was there, nothing was that interesting to me. I did B, nothing was that interesting, C, D. And when I typed E, I saw something that I've never seen before, berberine. I don't know what berberine is, so I clicked on it to try to learn a little bit more. And up came all these products. And this product right here caught my eye because it's exactly what we were talking about. It's a premium product. You look at all these other ones, the branding is pretty terrible, but this product looks premium. So I clicked on it and I used this extension from Helium 10 to see how much per month this product is doing. And if I click on the x-ray tool, it's gonna tell me exactly per month how much this product is doing in sales. And it says that this product has a revenue of over $300,000 per month in sales. But what's interesting about this is this branding doesn't really hit the target market. This is super premium, but I'm wondering if you could do branding that's premium, 
but that hits the target market, which I did some research on what berberine is, and it's something to help with blood sugar. So my guess is that the target market's gonna be older individuals that maybe have some health issues. And I think there's a way to do premium branding that's a little bit more niche down. But I want you to take a look at something here. This product is being sold for $29, and down here, there's this product that's being sold for $20. Now, let's compare these two products, and this perfectly illustrates why you should sell a premium product. The premium product is being sold for almost $30, while the cheap knockoff looking product is being sold for $20. Even though the cheap product has 120 capsules at 1,000 milligrams, and the premium product only has 90 capsules at 500 milligrams. So with that in mind, when we look at the cost, these two products probably cost pretty close to the same amount of money to manufacture the products. And when selling on Amazon, there is that referral fee. No matter what product you're selling on Amazon, you have to pay 15% of the total price that you're selling the product for. So for the premium product, that's a little over $4, and for the knockoff product, that's around $3. The other cost when selling on Amazon is that Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. Again, that's the fee every time you sell an item that you have to pay to Amazon to pick, pack, and ship your product out. And since these two products are roughly the same size and weight, they're both gonna be charged around $4 for the pick and pack fee which means in total, this product has a profit of $15 and this product has a profit of $7, which means that the premium product has double the profit margins and that they can spend way more money on marketing, on branding and getting sales for their product than the cheap knockoff product can. On top of that, if a cheaper product comes along and undercuts this product, they're probably gonna lose all their sales and it's gonna ultimately be a race to the bottom to see who can lower their price until neither one of these companies are making a profit. But the category of berberine supplements seems to be relatively crowded and it may not be a good idea to do another supplement. So you can use the search bar product research method and start typing things to see what it auto completes to. And I typed berberine G and I saw berberine gummies and I thought that was interesting, so I clicked on it. And what's amazing is the results. Out of all the products that were listed here, only one product is actually berberine gummies, and the branding and the marketing is pretty terrible, but let's click on it and let's see how much money per month this product is making. So I go back to the Helium 10 extension and I click on the X-ray tool. And I can see that this product is doing over $40,000 per month in sales, even though they have pretty terrible branding, which means that if you come in as a premium product, you can probably steal a lot of their sales. Which leads me to the four types of products you should be selling on Amazon. And the first type of product is a premium product. And my first ever passion product that I sold on Amazon has done over a million dollars in sales. And the reason it was able to make so much money is because it was a premium product. And within two months of launching this product on Amazon, I was making over $30,000 in revenue every single month. That's over $10,000 in profit. And by the end of my first year, I'd made over $100,000 in profit. And this was relatively passive income. And the reason I was able to make so much money and not really have to work that much is because my product was a premium product. It wasn't the cheapest product on the market. In fact, it was probably the most expensive product on the market. And there are some people that go to Amazon that want to buy the cheapest thing. But there are a percentage of customers that wanna buy the best, most premium product. And if you sell that product, you can charge a lot more than the competition. My product was priced at almost $28 where some of my competitors were only $6. So which means even if I'm paying more money for my product, when you subtract out all the costs, I'm gonna have way more profit than my competitors, which means I can spend more money on marketing. The other thing you wanna consider when selling a product on Amazon is, are you the first? And if you can't be the first product, can you be the first premium product? And I was the first premium keto, paleo, vegan nut butter product on Amazon. And what's crazy about this is even when you start to get competitors, they end up spending money on marketing and they grow the entire pie, meaning that you're not making 100% of the money in that space, but because there's more customers coming to buy the product, and since you were the first one on Amazon, you're gonna have more reviews and people are more likely to buy your product, which ultimately means more money for you. And in my second year selling this product ever on Amazon, I did over $400,000 in sales, over $150,000 in profit. Even though I was spending my time traveling and enjoying my life, I wasn't actually actively working on this business, but because all these competitors came into the space and they grew the entire pie, 
I continue to make more and more money. But let me show you these two free product research tools that almost nobody talks about and they're extremely powerful. The first one is Google Trends. And this is gonna let you know that if the product you're looking to start selling is trending upwards or trending downwards. And let's take a look at berberine. And this shows how often people are searching for berberine in Google. And you can see that this product recently shot up in popularity. Now we do wanna be careful because this might've been a trend that is dying now, but it also might be a trend that's about to continue to grow. And since this is a term that seems like it is growing over time, we can use this second tool, which is the Google Keyword Research Tool also known as the Keyword Planner. And since we know that we're interested in berberine, we can click on Discover New Keywords and type in berberine. And it will spit out a bunch of related keywords that it thinks that we might be interested in. And while searching, I came across this phrase, berberine tea benefits, which means a lot of people are searching for berberine tea. In fact, 170 people per month are searching this exact phrase, berberine tea benefits. So I went over to Helium 10 to see how many people are searching for berberine tea in Amazon. Because the key thing with this is this will show you how many people per month are searching for something in Google, but just because they're searching for it in Google doesn't necessarily mean they're searching for it on Amazon. And that's what we care about because people that are searching for this in Amazon are the ones that are likely to buy. And we can see that over a thousand people per month are searching for berberine tea. But what's crazy about this is when we go to Amazon and we search for berberine tea, there are no products that show up. There is no berberine tea. There's a lot of berberine supplements, but zero berberine tea products being sold, which means that this is a golden opportunity. And I think this product at a minimum could be doing $10,000 per month in sales. And I think it's a very beginner friendly product. If you want me to do a series showing you here on YouTube how I would create this product from scratch, leave a comment down below. Now let's talk about the two other types of products you should sell. And you should sell this, not this. Most trees that look like this lose all their leaves during the winter. On the other hand, an evergreen tree, even during winter, keeps all of its leaves, it keeps staying beautiful, and keeps making all that juicy, juicy chlorophyll. Now, your business does not wanna make chlorophyll or glucose, it wants to make money. And you wanna make sure that your business is making you money all year round. A huge mistake that a lot of people make is they try to sell seasonal products. They try to sell maybe Christmas decorations. And what happens is you end up spending way too much money on inventory and you may either sell out of your inventory too early and miss out on a bunch of sales, or you might end up buying too much inventory, not selling all of it and having to pay a ton of money in storage. Either way, seasonal products are something I would definitely not recommend. You do, however, wanna sell the fourth type of product, and this is the most important thing. In my 10 years of entrepreneurship, this one idea is the most powerful idea I've ever found, and that's that you should sell a passion product. A passion product combines everything we've been talking about in this video, and ideally, if you're gonna be selling a product, you're gonna wanna sell something that you're actually interested in, that you're actually passionate about. It's gonna make every part of this process easier. And when I first quit my corporate job, I started selling dance clothing, on Amazon and that was hard, it was a drag. I didn't understand the product, I didn't understand the customer and it wasn't until I started selling a passion product that I started having a ton of success. And I'm gonna show you live and unscripted how I would find a passion product and we're gonna put five minutes on the timer and I'm gonna see how many products that I can find and again, you can steal all these ideas. My goal is to try to hit five products in five minutes. But keep in mind, there's an entire checklist of things that I look for when I'm going to be selling a product on Amazon. And I'm gonna share this entire checklist with you if you join my $1 product research challenge. And there's a link down below to join. I'm gonna be doing five live recorded calls next week, but even if you don't make it to the live calls, they're going to be recorded, and you can always watch them in the future. And this is five hours of content, plus my checklist, plus these three worksheets that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And on top of all of that, as I mentioned earlier, when you join the $1 product research challenge, I'm gonna give you access to the biggest discount on Helium 10. It's literally, I'm not messing with you, it's such a big discount that they told me that I can't actually tell you what it is, but trust me, it's a lot more than I'm offering in the description link down below. They told me that I have to put it behind a paywall, and that's one of the reasons why I'm charging $1 
for this product research challenge. And this method that I'm gonna show you right now is what I use to find my million dollar Amazon FBA product. I created these worksheets to make it even easier. And I've taught this method to a ton of students and I've had some crazy success stories like Mina who created an Amazon FBA business that's doing over $100,000 in sales every month. Like Brent, who I mentioned earlier that's done a million dollars. AJ, who did $500,000 in his first year. Jeremy, whose product's doing $30,000 per month. And Andrew, who's done over a half a million dollars in sales. And I've shared a ton of the success stories here on this YouTube channel where we share the real honest numbers. And let me show you how you can do this process for yourself. But before I get into that, if you are interested in joining my full Amazon FBA mentorship program, there is a link down below in the description to get more information about that program. And in that program, I go into even more depth about how to do product research. I'll show you exactly how to find your own profitable Amazon product, as well as how to guarantee that it's actually going to make you money, that people are actually going to buy it. But one of the tools I recommend using is this Amazon Idea Generator. And I want you to write down everything you've ordered that you've purchased from Amazon or anywhere else in the last six months. Then I want you to go through and ask yourself some questions. What would make this item a five out of five star experience? What about a six out of five star experience? Like how do you make this product even better? There's some other questions that we'll talk about in the product research challenge. There's also the idea generator and you wanna write down everything you interacted with today. And this could be a mug, this could be a journal, whatever it is, and ask yourself some similar questions. But one of the aspects that I wanna talk about is write down everything that you're interested in. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm kind of interested in the carnivore diet. And once you make a list of everything you're interested in, you're gonna go over to Helium 10, you're gonna to go to that magnet tool, and you're gonna paste that in there. And you're gonna hit get keywords. And now I'm gonna show you my powerful hack, and that is the title density feature. And what this does is for the different keywords that show up here, it allows you to specify how many of the search results in Amazon, when you click on this and you search for, let's say meat seasoning in Amazon, how many of these listings on page one actually include the keywords meat seasoning? And what we want, the sweet spot, is we want zero. So I'm gonna put minimum to zero and maximum to zero, meaning that when we search the phrases shown here after we click apply filters, we want it to only show us keywords where there are no products that have these keywords in the title in Amazon. So again, we're gonna click by magnet IQ score. And let's put five minutes on the clock and live, I'm gonna see how many products I can find for you. So right off the bat, I can see that Carnivore's PS3, that's not a product I wanna sell because that's gonna be video games. Uh, we also see as we're going through here, this is the plant that we saw earlier. Let's keep going here. Paul Saladino, he's a famous carnivore enthusiast, so we don't want to sell anything with him. Let's see, Hardcore's Carnivore Seasoning. Now that's interesting. So Hardcore Carnivore Seasoning. Let's take a look at what that is. And this is seasoning. But what's interesting about it is the brand name is Hardcore Carnivore. It's not seasoning that's actually meant for the carnivore diet. I don't think that any of these seasonings are carnivore approved. So boom, right there. Let's take a look at one of these products. Let's see how much money it's making per month. And it's making, and this product is making over $300,000 per month, and I'm sure that a lot of people on the carnivore diet are buying this, thinking that it's somehow carnivore-related seasonings. All right, so let's keep going here, and let's see what other things that we can find. So a lot of product research is just sifting through and reading the different things, seeing what sounds interesting. Mass protein powder, I think a lot of carnivore protein powder, let's take a look at this. Carnivore protein, yeah, that's a brand name. This is already, this product already exists. I don't wanna create this product because it already exists. Carnivore crisps flour, I don't know what that is. All right, yeah, so this is like, this already exists, but this has opportunity for better branding. Carnivore flour. I think that could be something. People are looking to do baking on the carnivore diet. It's a weird, it's a weird diet, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's a little bit interesting, but that is an idea. So let's put that in, as another idea. In fact, let's look how much money per month this is doing. It might not be doing a lot. So this might not be a good opportunity, but this branding's pretty bad. So let's take a look here. And it's still doing $10,000 
per month. So there is opportunity there if you're passionate about the carnivore diet. And I understand that the carnivore diet is controversial. I live in Santa Monica, right next to Venice, California here. And I know a lot of people that are vegan that would hate me even talking about this, but it's an interesting trend and it's something to be aware of. And the reason I was actually interested in it was I was having some, some gut health issues and someone had mentioned that. I don't know if it's necessarily something I'm gonna do, but let's keep going down this list. Carnivore rub. So again, that's carnivore seasoning. That's another name for that. Carnivore crisp. Let's take a look at carnivore crisps. Now I actually think that this is a brand. Yeah, it's, it's actually a brand, but you know, maybe there's some room for competition. Maybe not. Maybe that's not something we really wanna mess with here. Carnivore digestive enzymes. So that's interesting. Over 300 people per month are searching for this. And I bet you when we look at, so there's digestive enzymes, but nothing's actually targeted towards the carnivore diet. So while I was doing some research, I did see that a lot of people needed digestive enzymes because you're eating so much meat, so much fat. So that's something to be aware of here. Let's go all the way to the top here. See if we missed anything. Activated charcoal seasoning. That's unique. That's not something I heard a lot about. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's opportunity. There's charcoal rub. Uh, let's see how much per month that product is doing. But I think we could even do like a better branding than this. It doesn't have a lot of reviews, so it might not be doing that much in sales, but I'm gonna probably say that's another product idea that if you did better branding, you could do, yeah, they're only doing a thousand dollars per month, but I bet you if you did better branding, that might be something that people would be interested in. Let's keep going here. I also found at the bottom of page two, carnivore aminos, amino acids, protein basically. Let's see, yeah, I mean, lots of amino acids and there is carnivore branded aminos. So uh, maybe that's something that's already dominated, but it's interesting. And you can see that this methodology, I didn't know that these brands existed before, but you can see that they use the same thinking, the same process. It's about finding a niche, it's about branding, it's about making a premium product. And let's quickly look on page three. I also found this carnivore bar and it actually comes up twice here. Let's look in Amazon and see what we find. And actually, yeah, I mean, there's beef jerky, but there's nothing that markets itself as carnivore bar. And this product right here, the Epic Bars, actually aren't carnivore because they, they have a lot of times fruit and stuff in them. So I think bars that are carnivore bars. So you can see that this trendy topic, you can create a whole brand of things. And if you wanted to, you can end up growing and selling a company for well over a million dollars, probably a couple million dollars, just by properly creating that premium brand and finding the correct niche. And if you are looking to find your own Amazon FBA product, click right here to join my $1 Amazon product research challenge. It's gonna be five days of content. That's an extra five hours of content, plus all those worksheets, access to that huge discount for Helium 10, and a bunch of other bonuses, my entire checklist of what I look for in products. All you gotta do is click right here and join the $1 challenge. So click there, join the challenge, and I'll see you all in the challenge. Thanks for watching.